In this lesson, we'll learn how to route wires on a robot and use SOLIDWORKS to find out the total length of wire we need to purchase. We will start by adding the Victor 883 motor controller on the base plate. You can use the robot and motor controller provided by us, or you can get the controller from the 3D Content Central database and mount it on the robot you created in the previous lessons. Right click on the base plate and isolate it, then insert the part. Mate its bottom face coincident to the top of the plate and add two distance mates, one of 3 inches and one of 1 inch, to locate the controller on the plate. Flip alignments and dimensions to give the controller the proper orientation. Exit isolate when you are done. In order to have a clear workspace, hold the control key down, select the base plate, the motor controller, the inner C frame and the motor. Right click and then select isolate. Now you need to enable SOLIDWORKS routing, which will allow you to easily create wires and harnesses and save them as sub-assemblies. Go to Tools, Add-ins and select SOLIDWORKS routing. We will place a wire from the controller to the motor. To do so, we need to set up a path so that the wire does not interfere with any other components. Click on Options, Routing, and make sure the boxes Automatically Route on Drop of Flanges Connectors and Automatically Route on Drop of Clips are both checked. Then click OK. Start by placing some clips. Go to the Design Library, Expand Routing, and in the Electric folder, locate the wire tie clip. Click and drag it onto a side of the mounting plate. A smart mate will automatically make it coincident to the plate. Select 8mm for the configuration and click OK to accept the mate. Place three more clips as follows. Now use the Rotate Component tool to rotate the clips in the desired positions and the Move Component tool to align them. It is time to add the connectors. We will use the blue ring connector. Rotate the assembly to see the back of the motor, then drag the blue ring terminal until it snaps on the appropriate feature. Because you placed the connector, SOLIDWORKS starts a new route and asks you to define its main properties. Accept the default ones and notice the new harness assembly that appeared in the feature manager. Now place the second connector and rotate the assembly to place two more on the controller. Click on the connection points of two connectors from different locations and the cable will appear, but it is only connected to one terminal on each side. Exit the 3D sketch and go to the electrical tab to select Route through clip. In the current selection box, first select the cable, then expand each wire tie from the flying feature manager and select its axis, or do that from the graphics area. Once the cable is shown through the clips, click on Auto Route in the Electrical tab. Then click the connection point of the margin wire tie clips and the connectors with no wire to create new branches. Now go to the Assembly tab and click Edit Component to exit the editing mode of the harness. If the wire's path is not as desired, you can move the wire tie clips and click Rebuild to modify it. You can now exit Isolate. Save the assembly and select Save Internally for the virtual components. Hit Rebuild to get rid of any graphics problem. The biggest benefit of routing a robot using SOLIDWORKS is that we can determine the length of wire we need to buy. To calculate it, we're going to use the Flatten Route tool from the Electrical tab. Click Yes to Rebuild, then under Drawing Options, select all of them. Electrical BOM, Cut List, Connector Table. Click OK and select No for the warning. We can observe that a drawing with all of the needed dimensions is created automatically, and that each branch has additional information about the wire. 